Alrighty, so since I still don't have a, well, I do have the channel intro and outro just sitting waiting. We still haven't revealed it yet after the 100 Realms video. So this is the intro today. Have you acknowledged your tribal chief, Roman Reigns? If you haven't, you should. That's why I'm wearing this shirt, because I acknowledge him. But anyway, here are the rules for this video. To keep it completely uh, fair, every spot will not be filled with World Race and Accelerators cars. Because if I wanted to, I could make that a top 25, top 30. So... We will have one car from Deteku, one car from the Metal Maniacs, no drone car because the drone car is already in Hot Wheels Unleashed, one silencer, and there will be one car from each World Race team except for Wave Rippers because we already have the Dior too. So there's just no point. So those are the rules. You will only see a car from Scorchers, Street Breed. Ah, oh, shit. You know, the, all the other... I, I can't think of all the top of my head. I'm tired. All the World Race teams besides Wave Rippers and all the Accelerator teams besides Drones. Those are the rules. Enjoy today's video. Coming in at number 10, we have the Phantom Racer, which appeared in Hot Wheels Beat That, the video game. This car is sexy. This car is beautiful. This car is majestic. I love this car so, 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 so much. It's just a great car, to be honest, and you're going to hear me say that a lot. I love every car on here. You're going to hear a repeat of it. It looks great. It's a great car, yada, 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 but this car screams it needs more attention. If, when, I, when I was a kid, I thought this was a silencer car. I was, I was very wrong. It looked like nitrium, but it wasn't quite nitrium. It just has that look that every Hot Wheels car has. It's, every good Hot Wheel car has a certain look to it where you know it's a great Hot Wheels car. This car screams Hot Wheels. This car screams, put me in another Hot Wheels game. This car needs more attention, and thank God this car exists. But it's only, you know, it, it doesn't get the attention it deserves. And I feel like that's a crime, because it looks beautiful. It looks phenomenal. And I would absolutely love to see this car in Hot Wheels Unleashed. Coming up at number nine, we have the Mid Drift. This car is very reminiscent to the Wagner I, I, that I have in GTA 5, which is another reason why I love it so much. GTA 5 Wagner is this. Hot Wheels Wagner is the midriff. You get it? <laughs> GTA 5 Wagner is the midriff. The midriff is the Wagner. Vice versa. Versa Vice. I just love the look of these two cars. Uh, midriff and the Wagner. I just love the look that these cars have. Super stupid front hump tires in the middle is just a no anybody should fit in that car whatsoever body surrounded by the back tires which are also stupid and humpy but it has this weird feel to it you just kind of love the way it looks and that's the way about the mid drift i just i just love the way it looks it's so fucking stupid <laughs> it's so dumb and it shouldn't work it shouldn't work fundamentally as a car look at that stupid thing Look at that stupid fucking thing hit the wall and got passed up by the spine buster and whatever that black car is on the right of it. It just, it shouldn't work as a car, but I love it so much. And I just, ah oh man, this, this car is just great. I really, I really hope they put this car in here. Coming in at number eight, we have Muscle Tone from the Scorchers team on Hot Wheels World Race. Now listen here, it's, I, I love it, okay? And I love it because it's a simple design. Less is more when it comes to this car. The beauty is in its simplicity. I love simple things. Things, sure, sometimes things can be a little extra. Sometimes things can be so over the top. Sometimes things can be so extravagant. But sometimes we all need a little bit of just normal. A little bit of calming down. A little bit of less is more, beauty in its simplicity type thing. And that's what muscle tone is. Plus, I feel as if it's very underloved and underrepresented. Sure, it's in a lot of Hot Wheels games, but do people really love Muscle Tone the way they should love Muscle Tone? I know some people do. Hi, German. I know you love Muscle Tone. But other than that, I feel like this car just needs more love. I really do love Muscle Tone. I genuinely do. Out of all the Scorchers cars, to me, it gets the least amount of love. That and the Mega Duty. But, like, fuck, who cares about the Mega Duty? But, uh, yeah. I love, I love, I love Muscle Tone. I love it. I really do. And I hope it's in the game. Here we go. Next up on the list here at number seven, we have the Vulture. This car is amazing. I'm a huge fan of cars with stupid fucking back wheels. <laughs> and, and this car has excellent back wheels, but it looks fucking stupid. Because there's no, there's nothing. Look, look at the back of it. There's no protection whatsoever. Just stupid. But anyway, 
Uh, I've always liked the way Vulture looked. It's so different compared to any other Hot Wheels car that I've seen. I know there are, you can say that about a lot of Hot Wheels cars. That's the point. But Vulture just looks and feels so different. It's long. It has those two stupid exhaust pipes in the back, which I absolutely love. It looks amazing. It looks like a badass. It kind of looks like a snake car. I think that was the intention they were giving off. If it took me over 15 years to realize that, then I'm the dumb one. But it looks like a snake car to me. And I just absolutely love Vulture for what it is. It's meant to look fast because it is fast. It's meant to look badass because it is badass. And it's meant to look amazing because it is amazing. And I really hope they throw this car in the game. This is car. This is a car that I feel also needs more love. It has enough, but give it more. Here we go. Number six, Slingshot. I shouldn't have to explain how great this car is. I will not explain how great this car is. This car is universally loved. Everyone loves this car. I have yet to meet a single Hot Wheels fan who isn't a filthy casual who dislikes this car. If you like Hot Wheels, you like this car. You do. There's no arguing it. Everyone loves it. Everyone loves Slingshot. Wait a minute. Everyone loves this. Just put it in the game. If it's not in the game in any way, shape, or form as a drivable vehicle, I will be hurting people at Mattel. No, I'm just kidding. Maybe. Alrighty, coming in at number five, we have the Crazy Eights. We're getting into the home stretch here, boys and girls. We're getting into the must-haves here. The top five are all must-haves, okay? Everything I said about Slingshot, just carry it over to the Crazy Gates. Everyone loves it. It looks amazing. It's super unique. And its spoiler looks like a massive wang. And I love it for that. Everyone needs massive dick spoilers in their life, okay? And look at the engine. The engine looks fantastic. And it sounds amazing. And, and it's, and it's unjustifiable what they did to Kadeem. So you have to redeem Kadeem <laughs> by putting his car in the game as much as possible. So we can honor the late, great Kadeem. He's amazing, and his car is amazing. But that's enough about Kadeem, because now I'm getting sad. But just look at his car. This thing is a fucking machine, an animal. It just looks so fucking beautiful. Mm, take it to make out point and tongue its gas hole. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh... <clears throat> Yeah, put Crazy H in the game, please. Alrighty, here we are at number four, Cove Light. I don't have much to say about Cove Light, except for the fact that I really do enjoy the way it looks. It's so... I know I say this a lot, but this is really just so unique. It's such a different-looking Hot Wheels car. Plus, it's dummy thick in the back. Look at that shit. But anyway, uh, I really do like Cove Light. I feel like out of all the Silencer's cars, this one is the most different, you know, besides that pudgy fat one. But this one is the most different in a way. And in the Meet the Cars video, it says don't run away from this thing because it'll catch up to you lightning fast. I fucking believe you. This, this shit looks like it goes from 0 to 100 in point four. Like, this shit is crazy. This this car is just, I love it. I love Cove Light so much. It is without a doubt my favorite Silencer's car. And I, 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 I just love it. I don't know what else to say about it. I just really, really do like Cove Light. It's just beautiful. It's just amazing. At number three, it's Rolling Thunder. My friend Joseph calls this a pickup truck with a roaring jet engine, and I couldn't agree more. I will not accept slander upon Rolling Thunder's name, alright? It is amazing, it is beautiful, it deserves more love, and I want it so bad in this game. I want Coming in at number two, we have Synchro, because this is the best Teku car. Fuck what anybody says about Reverb, fuck what anybody says about Battle Spec, fuck what anybody says about Slingshot, fuck what anybody says about Chicane, fuck what anybody says about High Voltage, fuck what anybody says about Spec Type, fuck what anybody says about Power Range. It's Synchro all the way. And nothing will ever change my mind that it will be Synchro. Synchro is a beautifully constructed Hot Wheels car. It looks amazing. It looks amazing to own, to drive. The interior is magnificent. It's legitimately my favorite car from the entire Hot Wheels Accelerator series. It is my favorite Hot Wheels car of all time. Put it in the game or somebody will die. Maybe. Yes. And last but not least, the one car that absolutely deserves to be in this game is Saber. Because this car is amazing. People in the fan base, you either shit on Battle Force 5 or you love it. 
I'm kind of in the middle. I kind of love it, kind of didn't want it, kind of didn't need it to happen. But if there was one positive that came out of it, it was this card. This card absolutely deserves to be in a racing game. This gameplay footage right here does not justify this car. This car needs justice. This car, to my knowledge, is the only Hot Wheels car where you can drive it right side up or upside down. And that is the thing, there is no upside down with this car. You can drive it both ways. And look at this, this car is literally begging to be put in a racing Hot Wheels game. This car is pleading, banging the door down wanting to be in a Hot Wheels racing game. So please, do not let this gameplay footage be the only footage I can find of the I'm so serious when I said this shitty piece of shit game is the only footage I can find of this car. Please, just put it in Hot Wheels Unleashed. If there's one car from this entire list, if there's one, it's this car.